when you think about the human condition, um, you do not escape it on this earth, and there are certain things you will do or you will fail to do. And nobody is perfect. Everybody fails to some degree. But they are nurturance, they're husbandry of what you inherited from the past, will you pass it on to the future? They are the human relationships of family and other enthralling engagements. You have, a, whether you recognize it or not, you have a moral obligation to nature, to the ecology that supports life itself. And there's another which I tend to fuzz up because I don't want to start theological arguments, but there is something in people that recognizes a sacred transcendent quality in life, whether you call that God or something else or nature, I, I, you define it for yourself, but you can't observe human history without recognizing there's something there, the sacred. So, all right, we should quit. <laughs> all, I'm, all, I, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying about morality is these things are part of human existence, these obligations. You don't have a choice about that. You may choose to ignore them or flaunt them or damage them, but they're still your obligations. And I don't think there's a religion in the world that wouldn't agree with that, at least in some general sense. And people who are not religious would probably accept it as well. <laughs>